Hello. Good afternoon. I am getting more worried. About inflation? Well, that too. But now I am worried about the denial that you mentioned the last time we spoke. Yes, I told you that denial is the official policy of the Federal Reserve. And, apparently, for the European Central Bank as well. Really? Do tell. It seems that Mr. Trichet has gone rogue and is now telling us that Europe's shaky economic recovery makes a near-term rise in Eurozone interest rates unlikely, despite mounting worries about inflation. Shaky recovery? Isn't the CAC up 60%? Isn't the FTSE up 66%? Isn't the DAX up over 100% in the past two years? If the economic recovery is shaky, then the markets must be tremendously overpriced. Rather so. We are not amused. Mr. Trichet says inflation risks are broadly balanced. I suppose that is true if your definition of balance is balanced on the backs of the poor. I see that Trichet is saying what counts is not immediate inflation, but inflation over the medium term. That reminds me of the sign that you'll have hanging in your office. What did it say? It says, not everything that counts can be counted and not everything that can be counted counts. My, that is deep. So is the hole that the ECB is digging Europe into. Rather so. Mr. Trichet stated that little can be done about commodity prices that are set in the global markets, saying, we have no capacity to correct the immediate increases of the prices of oil and commodities. So the ECB claims it has nothing to do with rising commodity prices while pumping several trillion euros into the economy? Yes. In fact, Mr. Trichet said that the nine-month-old program to buy government bonds of vulnerable, peripheral countries will continue indefinitely. And he feels that artificially depressing lending rates is not inflationary? That is what he said. I do not believe he was being ironic. Or, at least, not purposely so. I used to tell my students, we cannot solve problems by using the same kind of thinking that we used when we created them. That is bloody brilliant. Well, it is me. Quite. Do you know what else is brilliant? What is that? The amount of crap that can be spouted by a central banker. Mr. Trichet. No, Helicopter Ben. That son of a bitch was on a roll today. What did he say? Get this. Bernanke said, I think it's entirely unfair to attribute excess demand in emerging markets to U.S. monetary policy. He said, those nations can use their own monetary policy and adjust exchange rates to deal with their inflation problems. It's really up to emerging markets to find appropriate tools to balance their own growth. No way. Yes. Way. He is like some kind of supervillain from a dime store novel. So, both Mr. Binanki and Mr. Trichet claim that inflation is somebody else's problem. Yes, like Hitler's invasion of Czechoslovakia, and Poland, and Finland, and Denmark, and Norway, and Holland, and Belgium, and then France. So, Binanki and Trichet are like Neville Chamberlain, saying, peace in our time, while the situation gets worse. It gets much worse. Worse? How can it get worse? Surging food prices have already contributed to uprisings in Tunisia and Egypt that threaten to fuel more unrest. The United Nations said Thursday its index of global food prices reached a new high last month, eclipsing the peak in July 2008 due to rising prices for cereals, sugar and vegetable oils. The gauge rose 3.4%, its seventh straight monthly gain, putting prices at their highest point since the UN Food and Agriculture Organization started measuring global prices in 1990. Still, it can get worse. Check this out. Bernanke said today that, it is widely understood that the federal government is on an unsustainable fiscal path. Yet, as a nation, we have done little to address this critical threat to our economy. He says, doing nothing will not be an option indefinitely. What? Do you mean to say he actually suggests that doing nothing is an option for now? Oh yes. Doing nothing is right in Dr. Bernanke's wheelhouse. Denial. It is not just a river in Egypt. 
Here is the sickest part. Bernanke says, Indeed, prices of many commodities have risen lately, largely as a result of the very strong demand from fast-growing emerging market economies, couple, in some cases, with constraints on supply. Nevertheless, he continues, overall inflation remains quite low. Over the 12 months ending in December, prices for all the goods and services purchased by households increased by only 1.2%, down from 2.4% over the prior 12 months. Wait. Are you telling me that Ben Bernanke says inflation has dropped by 50% over the prior 12 months? Yes, that is what he said. Did they arrest him? No, unfortunately he was not under oath. Oh. Where was he speaking then? at the National Press Club. Also on television to the nation. It was the first time he has done such an address since February of 2009. The last time the markets were collapsing. What about the US workers? Does Bernanke not care about them? That is the best part. Bernanke is proud that wage inflation is under control. Wage inflation? What is that? That is Fed double speak for raises. Aren't raises good? Not for the corporate masters who hold Bernanke's chain. They want to pay their workers as little as possible. How does one maintain low wage growth? Through unemployment. Unemployment is an excellent tool for keeping wages low. Isn't the Federal Reserve supposed to fight unemployment? That is their charter. However, they obviously suck at it. So, that is the worst part? Oh no. It is even worse. You see, what Bernanke is saying is that he will continue to distribute free money to the investment banks, big corporations and the top 1%, who will, in turn, boost global inflation even further. That money is a debt burden he places on the bottom 99%. My goodness. When will he stop? That is the joke. He will not stop as long as unemployment is high. But, isn't he telling the people who do the hiring that he will keep giving them free money as long as they don't do any hiring? Yes. Wow. That is freaking insane. Yes. This is how they do things. They cleverly set the parameters that reward the worst possible behavior. Why would General Electric, for example, who will greatly benefit from the Federal Reserve's loose money policy, want to hire US workers, it would make more sense for them to lay people off or outsource. That will ensure that they continue to receive free money. That is correct. This is how the Fed says one thing, but creates a policy that encourages the exact opposite. That is just pure evil. Yes, I am very glad I did not live to see this happen to America. I used to say, two things are infinite the universe and human stupidity and i am not sure about the universe that is funny funny and sad <laughs>